Okay, so this is what's happening to me so far. Is that... I'm starting to realize the process. And this is going to take some time. It's not going to happen overnight. But I'm getting very, very close to this coming out of its area. Now, the calcification, it's everywhere. It's all in here. It's all in your eyes. It's everywhere. Your whole face is on ice. Your neck, the back of your neck, you'll notice that your neck starts to crackle. And as you go, things will start to heat up. Your forehead starts to heat up. Your whole face, your breath starts to get like hot, like an oven, like 200 degrees coming out of your nose and mouth. And uh, you can differentiate between blowing cool air or not, which is amazingly drastically different in temperature, which I'm finding out. Uh, so what happens is, is this son here, Mr. Cheeks, is, uh, yeah, put some cheek action in there. All right, so he's burning all of this off and all of this out and it's crackling. That's what the TMJ syndrome is. So it's, it's all liquefying itself in the water solubility of my face and my body. And it's pouring out of my face in a very sticky manner. It's coming out of my nose and it's coming out of my sinuses and I'm spitting all this nasty shit out that's really white and just really calcify, you know, it's just really nasty and salty and just nasty. So uh, you'll notice that it's almost like you got a cold and the cold is literally just pouring out of your face. As in right now, I don't have a cold, but I feel like I do because it's coming out and it's very exhausting and makes you very tired. And uh, there's a lot of melatonin release in the process, which means that he's just working on you. Uh, it means you gotta go to sleep because when you go to sleep your body rejuvenates itself and repairs itself so hand in hand you will notice all these things happen if you start feeling tired that means that you're getting somewhere uh, you sleep it off and uh, essentially all of this is going to come out of all these cavities here out of the eyes uh, I noticed that it's getting thicker and thicker and uh, I used uh, some of these, which I wanted to surprise you. Said a few days I would have a surprise for you, and I do have it now. Hold on for a second. Get it now. These bad boys here. Now these are just like eye speculums. What, what, I, what you can do is you can go to Home Depot and you can get a wire that is like it. And you can get like a copper wire or, or anything and bend it to the shape. And uh, screenshot it if you want, just to take a look. This right here goes inside your eyelid and this is the bottom eyelid and it pries it open, you can't blink. And when I did that, it brought so much poison to the front of my eyeballs that my eyes started to feel painful and irritated. So uh, eventually, I pulled them all out. I pulled them out and then my eyes went back to normal because the sun repaired the irritation of the eyes, made them go white again, which I was like amazed. And then the poison was still in the front of my face and I instantly started to realize that I was just burning a lot of this off. I'm just gonna have to get used to them. But uh, you can find these wherever you can. They're like eye speculums. Uh, you basically want to, you know, I'm not going to call them eye speculums, but they're like eye speculums. And uh, you want to use whatever you can to keep your eyes open, uh, even without you doing it, because you might want to do hand spirals while you're doing it. But if you have to pry your eyes open with your fingers, just do what you can. And uh, it brought a lot of the poison to the front of my face, and I instantly got the relationship as to what's actually happening inside of here. So it just rushes out. It's like... Oh, oh shit there's no it's not blinking you're not blinking oh <clears throat> it just all comes out like a big glob of just nastiness right into the front of your eyeball like it makes your eyeball feel like it's a rock like super heavy so then after that you pull them out well i had to pull them out because i'm just now getting used to them i pried my eyes open with my fingers like so and it just comes pouring out like in the most nastiest of thickness of blobs coming out of my face and it is just the most nastiest of the most nastiest so uh it's pretty exhausting but i'm gonna keep going because i believe in myself and i know that i can do this 
and you should believe in yourself too. And it's a painstakingly, sometimes somewhat exhausting process, but in the end, you're gonna have access to this bad boy, and this bad boy allows you to do some unbelievable things. So uh, keep on doing it, keep pulling it, the poison out of your face until it's gone without a trace. Stay awake.